If you've got pain in your elbow where your biceps inserts right around the tendon here, then that might be distal biceps tendonitis. In this video, you're gonna learn what you gotta stop doing and exercises to heal this problem for good. Hey, it's Coach E from Precision Movement, and today I'm gonna to help you with distal biceps tendonitis, which is pain right around this area where the biceps brachii muscle inserts into the forearm. This video idea came about in reading the comments to our original biceps tendonitis video, where we talked about proximal biceps tendonitis, which is pain in the biceps, but where it originates up near the shoulder. Now in this video, we're gonna show you some different exercises in a, that will address root causes for this distal biceps tendonitis that are more applicable for distal biceps tendonitis. However, you still need to do the exercises and apply the concepts that we taught in that previous video. So we're gonna to link to that in the description down below and at the end of this video. And we're gonna talk about how you can put it all together. Now, what are the root causes of distal biceps tendonitis pain down here? Well, there's a few and we're gonna address these in the video with the exercises. But number one is we've got a muscle in the forearm called the supinator and its primary function is supination. Now the biceps brachii, it also supinates at the forearm. That's turning the palm up in addition to flexing the elbow. But if the supinator is not working and it's not contributing to that movement of supination, then the biceps brachii has to pick up the slack for that muscle and it can overwork and get inflamed and painful. That's one possible root cause. Another one is with respect to elbow flexion, we have a couple other muscles that contribute to this elbow flexion movement, that curl movement. One is the brachialis underneath the biceps. It sits deep to the, bra the biceps brachii. The other is the brachioradialis, which is in the forearm, and it's right around there on the forearm. Now, if either of these muscles aren't working well, again, the biceps brachii will have to pick up the slack and it can get overworked and painful. So those are two potential root causes. The last one is tissue quality. So we might have some adhesions, in this biceps area, if you ever had other elbow injuries, there might be some scar tissue, muscles just get adhered to fascia, whatever it may be, we wanna make sure that these muscles are pliable and move through their full range of motion properly. So those are the potential root causes that we're gonna address with the three exercises in this video. Now, the other thing that you've gotta remember is you might be doing something that's contributing to it, whether it's exercise in the gym or just activities and movements of daily life. And you've got to stop those at least for a period of time during that initial healing phase so that you can get that sensitivity down and we can start to work these other muscles to get them strong to pick up the slack. So some of these things are exercises in the gym, like pull-ups and chin-ups, anything where you're pulling rows and using the biceps. I want to just pause those for a week, maybe two weeks at most, but then you can reintroduce them a little bit lower volume and just ramp it up from there. Other exercises, heavy carries like farmer's walks, or any kind of deadlifting that you're doing with the palms up, both palms up or the power grip, one up and one down. Stop doing that. You could do the pronated grip, that should be okay, both palms down. But anytime your palms are up, you're gonna be using that biceps in a position that can put it, that can make it very vulnerable. So stop those exercises, let it heal for one to two weeks and do the exercises that I'm gonna show you right now. So we're gonna start off, the first technique is to improve tissue quality, and that's active self myofascial release for the biceps. And for this technique, what we want to do is we want to start with the elbow flexed. And from there, you jam your thumb somewhere around the biceps, in between the biceps and the brachialis. We could start there and then just extend the elbow as you slide the thumb up towards your shoulder. And we're just going to move all around the biceps and get the whole tissue with the, whether there is adhesions or scar tissue or muscle knots, get those all released. So you go on the other side of the biceps, go all around different areas. You can go at the forearm, up into crossing the elbow joint and then into the biceps. Just move it all around different areas for one to two minutes. And this is gonna help to improve the tissue quality so that the muscles can move through their full range of motion and they don't get stuck. Next up, We've got the supinator activation. For this technique, you'll need a band and you put the band just about hand height when your hands are down by your sides. And you start off by grabbing the band with the palm down and 
supinating, so rotating the palm up, nice and slow. Hold at the end range for five seconds. Keep trying to get deeper into the end range. So keep supinating as you're extending the elbow. So firing up the tricep. So you're supinating and firing up the tricep hard for five seconds, and then you slowly return. And then you repeat, supinate, fire up the tricep. Keep trying to get deeper into that range of motion. That's how we're gonna build strength here. And slowly return to the start position. Now, the reason why we fire up the tricep is so we can shut off the biceps through reciprocal inhibition. When we activate the tricep and straighten the elbow, we can shut off the bicep a little bit so that it's not contributing to this supinator movement. The other thing with this position, when the elbow is fully straight, the biceps brachii doesn't have a good mechanical advantage to supinate, so the supinator has to do more of that work. So for this exercise, do two to three sets, four to six reps, and holding for five seconds. You start down low in the reps and the sets, and then you work your way up over time. The final exercise is one that I love. It's called brachialis curls. And this is basically the opposite of what a standard dumbbell bicep curl is. You grab either one or two dumbbells, it's up to you, and you start with your palms up. From there, make sure your shoulders are in good posture, you're standing in good posture, you curl the weight, you flex the elbow as you pronate. So turn the palms down. And once you're at the top, keep pronating and squeeze the brachialis. Try and get more flexion for two seconds. And then as you go down, slowly keep thinking of pronating, turning the palms down. At the bottom, turn the palms up. That's going to get that supinator active again. And then you repeat. Turn the palms down as you curl. And at the top, keep turning the palms down, so pronating as you're flexing and squeezing for two seconds and slowly return, turning the palms down more and more as you go down. So one more time, turn the palms up, curl as you turn the palms down at the top, two seconds, hold it, squeeze tight, keep turning the palms down. And as you go down slowly, keep turning the palms down to shut off the biceps. For brachialis curls, do two to four sets, working six to eight reps and holding for two seconds at the top, and again, progressing up over time. And this whole program, these three exercises, you'll wanna do it on an every other day basis. You can alternate between these exercises and the exercises in the other biceps tendonitis video for two weeks at least, and then you can start to drop it down a little bit. Maybe you'll focus more on these exercises, continuing them three days a week or so for another two weeks, at which point you should be able to start to resume your other normal activities. Just remember you gotta ramp it up and progress. You don't jump in where you left off. Start low, progress up, and that's how we're gonna restore that foundation and make sure that you can continue to move freely and without pain. If you found this video helpful, make sure you hit us up with a like, it helps us out. And make sure you're subscribed to the channel to follow along with us. And we've got some other resources, like I said, got the other biceps tendonitis video that's really important. We've got a straightest anterior video to keep that shoulder stable because the shoulder affects the elbow. So check out the elbow pain solution because this program is comprehensive and leaves no st stone unturned to keep you moving freely and without pain. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time. Peace.